Because you're special, baby. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I see. So this is the trip. Eddie, you told me you were going out of town just because you want to bring another woman to your birthday party. Right? Oh, I think I just have to go upstairs to go pick up something for your birthday. I forgot. Thank you. Sorry. Eddie, who is she? And who is she? Oh, hold on a sec. You're joking, right? You gave her the same necklace you gave to me? Really, Eddie? Eddie, so you're cheating on me, right? Oh, no. He's not cheating on you. He's cheating on me. We've been dating for three years. Babe, babe. She, she, she came back. She came back? And you opened your arms and welcomed her? When were you going to tell me this? Don't you dare. Don't you dare call my name again. Eddie, what is she talking about? I'm so disappointed in you. You know what? Happy birthday. No. Shimama. <sighs> and where do you think you're going to? Hmm? You're not going anywhere till you explain to me what is going on. Excuse me. Um, Eddie! Jemima! Eddie! Excuse me. Just go. Do you have a girlfriend? Why? Why did you ask? This is from a brother to another brother. Don't trust them. Did you know my girlfriend? <laughs> Look. I don't need to know your girlfriend if I know what she's capable of. See all those girls. They are evil. They are heartless. Liars, all of them. When they tell you they love you, they don't mean shit. They don't mean shit. Excuse me, I don't know who broke your heart, but my girl is not like... My girl is different. It's not like your head. They didn't tell this guy. All girls are the same. Take it from me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... My gear is different. Thank you. My gear is different. Thank you. Use your head. Why are you screaming? What do you mean by why am I screaming? Come and fix my car. You hit me and you ask me why am I screaming? No. We hit ourselves. I mean, you hit me and I hit you, so we just apologize and move on like two exes. That's why you're talking out of your ass. My darling, calm down and fix my car. Oh, she called me her darling. But listen, listen, I am not a mechanic. I can't fix your car for you. Well, if you're not a mechanic, then pay me up. Pay you? Yes. I don't understand. How? My friend, get Are your... Are you dumb or stupid? Which one is it? Uh, maybe the two of them. Just get your car out of here. I need, I need to go to my house. I'm going anywhere until you give me the money to fix my car. Really? Yes, you heard me. Really? You think I'm joking with you? You my... better don't go anywhere. Come and fix my car. Fix your car for what? Did I spoil your car? You bashed my car. Are you Wait. stupid? Is it me that you're yelling at? Like you're a madman. After hitting my car, you're coming to be shouting. Okay, come and fix my car, Joe.
So this guy did not close his gate, didn't lock it, and he did not lock the door as well. He really must be very, very careless. Hello? Hello, drunk? I know you're in there, so you better come down and settle me. I'm waiting. <laughs> so this is how this guy gets drunk and goes about bashing people and thinks you get away with it. Today you have met your match. Look, I give you one minute. One minute to come down here or else I'm coming up there to meet you. You think you're crazy, yeah? Well, I'm crazier. This guy thinks I'm joking. Wait. No, 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 no. I mean, this makes no sense. I cannot just enter a stranger's house and think I should go to his room. Maybe I'll just come back. Yeah, I should go. I should go. Let me just go. What was that? Not. What do you want me to do for you? Uh, this? It's it, it, it's empty. You want me to go and get the drug? Are you sure you don't want me to take you to the hospital because you look like you're dying? The drug. Okay, I'll just dash down to the pharmacy and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm coming. I'm back, okay? How many drugs am I supposed to give to you? Huh? Jesus Christ. Hey! Hey, I said I'm back from the pharmacy. I'm back from the pharmacy, okay? How many am I supposed to give to you? Two. Okay. Alright. Here you go. Here you go. Are you sure you don't want me to take you to the hospital? You're sure you don't want to go to the hospital? Huh? Okay. Okay, if you say you're fine, then I believe you. Um, have you had something to eat? Okay, you know what? Let me go and make something for you, okay? I'll be right back.
guys. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, he told me everything that happened. You're such a lifesaver. Thank you. Okay, and um, who are you? His girl? I'm Kate, his sister. Oh, honestly, I don't know what would have happened to my brother if you hadn't shown up here. My brother is allergic to alcohol and sometimes it can be really so bad. What? Yes. So why then did he drink? Because that guy was so drunk that he bashed my car. I know, right? He's heartbroken. I'm very sure that must be the reason. So that is why he endangered his life? You because know, of a girl? Girl, you know how things of the heart can be sometimes. Sometimes it can be really crazy. Okay, um, that's fine. I was going to take him some food to eat, but since you're here, you can take over. Oh, no, 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 oh, please, please, please. Um, you don't have to go yet, please. Why? You're a sis, right? Yes, I'm his sister. But I have a test by 1 o'clock in school, and, and I have to be in school latest by 12 p.m. Please, you don't have to go yet, I beg you. Please, 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 pretty, pretty. Thank you so much. Um, it's off this way. Right? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How did I get myself mixed up in all of this? I mean, I was supposed to just come here and get my money to fix my car and leave. Why did you do this? Tell me. She's not what's this. Eddie, why would you risk your life for a lady who left you without even saying a single word to you? Why? Okay, tell me, what if she didn't show up? What would have happened to you? Tell me. Kate, you don't know how I feel. And I don't freaking care how you feel. It's not worth risking your life over. Stop yelling at me. I'm going to keep yelling at you. If yelling would make you start thinking straight, I would yell at you again and again and again! How can you doing that? <sighs> Eddie, we are orphans. You are the only one that I have. I promise you, if you keep risking your life this way, I would never forgive you ever. If anything ever happens to you, I would never ever forgive you in my life. Never! <laughs> Sorry, I heard you yelling. I'm sorry, I... You know, I would love to take my leave right now. Ah, uh, sorry, what's your name again? Jemima. Jemima. Can I have your number so I could just call you whenever I want to speak to my brother? Because of his condition. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so I'll be expecting your call? Yeah, sure. I'll call you. Okay. I know I am actually inconveniencing you. I'll pay you. I'll pay for your time. I'll pay for your car damage. I'm going to pay for everything. This is not fine. fine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll okay. be expecting your call. Okay, Jen. Bye. Oh, sorry. Jennifer. I brought you food. Thank you. Here, have some more. Thank you, but look, I can take care of myself. Look, I'm being paid for this, okay? Today, I am your caretaker, so take. Thank you, but I'm fine now, so you can go. Go to where? Did you miss the part where I said I'm being paid today for to take care of you? <sighs> okay, okay. I'll pay you. Okay, 1M. For what exactly? You said you were going to pay me, so that's the price. So if I give you one million naira now, you take. You expect me to give you one million naira. Okay, fine. Then I will stay and take care of you until your sister gets back and pays me the money. So drink up, please. Ah. 
Uh-uh. I thought you have left. Yeah, I'm still here. I mean, I haven't been settled yet. Anyways, how are you? Oh, I said I'm fine now. I'm good. Um, your sister said she was going to call me. She took my number and she still hasn't called. Oh. Hello? What? What do you mean by you cannot make it today? I've been waiting for you. Yes, I've been here all day taking care of your brother. I need to go home. You know what? Forget about the money. It's fine. I'll just leave. Fine, but you need to be here first thing tomorrow morning. All right. Bye. See, see. I don't know your agreement with my sister. But I am not a kid. And I'm okay now. I can take care of myself. So I'll just give you 500k and you go. Do you have a shirt I can change into? What do you mean do I have a shirt you can change into? I thought you were leaving. Yes, but um, if I leave, how do I know that you're not going to go back to drinking? I am not planning to kill myself, so I won't. Well, I don't believe you. What, what do you mean you don't believe me? Anyways, I made you dinner, so just go and eat. Um, secondly, do you have a shirt that I can change into? Okay, permission to check your wardrobe for a shirt. Alright. Permission granted, I guess. Well, you and I know that you cannot concentrate on work, so why don't you talk to me instead? Talk to you? Talk to you about what? About your heartbreak. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, your sister told me. Besides, I also saw the ring in your wardrobe. You are going to propose. Look, if you do not want to talk about it, that's fine. But you have to find a way to get over it. Alright, okay. Familiar word now. It gets over it just like that. Do you think it's that easy? Especially when I didn't get to have a closure with this girl. I understand. You don't understand. You don't. Look, I've been there, okay? My ex hurt me badly. He really did. And I honestly thought I wasn't going to be able to get over it. But look at me. I'm here now, am I not? <sighs> I don't know how you did it. But I'll be honest, even as a man, I really don't know how to move on. I'll help you. You will? Yes. 
I hope you get to buy it. I am so sorry, Jemima. I really don't think we can make it there today. I am so busy in school, but don't worry. Just send me your card details and I'll send you some money. No, don't worry about it. Like I said, don't worry about it. Your brother will fix it. He will sort it out. Sure. It's fine. Have a nice day. Uh, bye. Thank you very much. I want to send you 500k, so just call your details. Uh, there's no need for that. All I need from you is for you to stay away from alcohol and get better. I will try to stop by often, okay? All right, have a good day. for the past few days, so I thought to drag you out. Hey, bills on me. Thank you. <laughs> but hey, this is a bar. You know I could not take a call, right? That we said it's only after we get drunk and sell at the bar. Okay. Um, I'll surprise you. Hello. Bartender. 
Yes, please come. So do you know that there's this um non-alcoholic drink they sell here? Very good. I think you should try it. It has strawberries in it. Do you like strawberries? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's not alcoholic. At all. Trust me. And it is very, very nice. Mm. I'm I'm sure try you it. I like to try it already. Mm -hmm. And they have meat too. I don't mind. Thank you for being there for me. The universe brought you into my life when I needed you the most. You better don't go falling for me. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for you. Um, I'm happy that you're okay. I didn't know I was going to get over her that easily. So, are you over her? Yeah. Take a look at me. Don't I look over her? Thank you. Um, yeah, um, I'll just go enjoy your cooking. Yeah, I know, but um, I'm going to like that girl. Jane, my mom. Just like that. Well, that girl was by my side for a while. She she really helped me, you know. She stood by me. So it's it's understandable if I if I like her. So you're going to ask her out, that's what you mean? Oh yes, I I want to ask her out on a date. I mean we've gone on a date before, but it was an idea. But this time around, I'm the one who's going to initiate it. And I want to get her flowers. Hmm. You know, get her a beautiful dress. Mm -hmm. Make a reservation in a five-star restaurant. <laughs> just want to make her feel special, because she's special. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you ask me, I think she's a very sweet person. She's cool. But my own concern is the fact that you just walked out of your relationship, and now you want to get into another one. I'm not necessarily getting into another relationship. That's what it seems like. I'm just trying to appreciate Jemima. Appreciation? Hey, hey, modupe. Now say they start my brother. Now say they start for my appreciation, you go going to my appreciation. Hey, hey, God have mercy. Well, the thing there is, I just feel maybe Scarlett did what she did just for me to meet Jemima. Come to think of it, you always say that some disappointments are blessings in disguise, right? Well, 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 I do say that sometimes. Mm. Listen, I have nothing against Jemima. She's a sweet person. She's thoughtful, she's caring, she's kind, you know. But I just feel like, you know, <laughs> you're taking this thing too far. That's what I think in my own opinion. Yes. Yes, you're right. I feel so too, but it just feels sweet, you know. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It's all good. You're an adult, okay? I cannot tell you what to do or what not to do. You know best how you feel. You know how you do different what you know you step, you know, you know how they eat you. <laughs> I got you, bro. Wait, hold on. Hey. Shamama, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be cloud what the heart feels, looks are deceiving, so trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Oh, we gotta learn how to trust each other. I 
trust you, you trust me. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Where does love to survive when we trust each other? We learn how to trust each other. This past week has been a terrible one for me. <laughs> My mom cancer came back. And she didn't want us to spend money like we spent the last time. She said she was ready to go. <laughs> but she has a confession to make. She asked me to come home. When I got home, she told me and my dad that he's not my real dad. So we did a DNA test and he's not my father. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> so I asked my mom who my father is and she mentioned four people. So we reached out to three, we carried out a DNA test, and they were not my father. Oh my God. Damn. The fourth potential person is dead. So there is every possibility that my father is dead, and I will never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you reach out to me? Why? I was ashamed. I didn't want you to see my mother as a whole. I am supposed to be your boyfriend, your partner, your lover. How could you go through stuff like this without telling me just by yourself? D, I'm sorry. It was just a whole lot. It was a tough one. <sighs> but babe, you know, you know that I would have taken care of you. I would have stood by you. I wasn't going to judge your mom. Scarlett, how in the hell did you think ghosting me was the best option? I didn't want to bother you with my problems, okay? A whole lot was happening. I wasn't even thinking. I wasn't thinking straight. I am sorry, okay? It's fine. I missed you. I missed you too, baby. So much. Some trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Trust you, you trust me. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Where does love to survive when we trust each other? We gotta learn how to trust each other. I'm in action, we gotta love. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Love is beautiful, it can surpass anything. Understanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. So trust is important for the trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Oh, we gotta learn how to trust each 
How come you planned a date with me and then you didn't show up? You went ahead to buy me a dress, booked a reservation, and then you stopped answering your calls. Why? I am so sorry. I promise I will make it up to you. You promised to make it up to me. And that is, that is final. Is that what you have to say? You don't think that I deserve an explanation as to why you stood me up? Yeah, you do, of course, but it's a long story. Okay, I'm listening. <sighs> Something came up. Something came up. That is your explanation. Okay. Um, can we not just talk about this? Well, if you do not give me an understandable reason as to why I was stood up tonight, then I think you shouldn't call my number again. Of course I will. I, I will, Jemima. It's, it's not just tonight. Okay, fine. Then call me whenever you're ready to give me the explanation. Until then, don't bother calling my number. Ready to explain yourself now. Jimama, I know you're a mad. If I were to be in your shoes, I would be pissed. But you see, you know I care about you. I can never just keep you waiting for nothing. Okay, Eddie. I'm listening to you. Um. Right. Don't call my phone again. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Everything is perfect. Are you sure? Yeah. Everything is good. Eddie. I know things might be weird between us. Because I disappeared for weeks. But hey, I promise not to disappear again. I promise not to leave you in the dark. I promise not to ghost you. Okay? I'm here now, and I will never leave again. And thank you for waiting for me. Thank you for being patient. I love you, Eddie. Eddie? Hmm? I said I love you. I love you too. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm good. Alright. So, let's go up and continue from where we started. Mm. <laughs> we're not done. Because they have a whole lot to do. Come <laughs> down, bring your voice so she can hear you. I don't freaking care! Shh. Who does she think she is? No, she thinks she can just walk in and out of your life just like that? But I just explained to you what happened. And you believe her? Why would I believe her? She doesn't have a reason to lie. <laughs> 
So you think she will just abandon you for a week and then come back? Without cooking a good story for you to pity her and forgive her? Even if she wanted to lie, it's definitely not going to be about her paternity. Nobody lies about their paternity. Fine! Let's just assume that she's saying the truth to you. So does that make it quite okay for you to abandon and stand up Jamana? After asking her for a date because you want to go screw your ex? <coughs> what is... <coughs> why are you scratching... What is scratching you there? I'm just saying it the way it is now. Firstly, Scarlett is not my ex. And I, I can't just keep G Jemima waiting for me for nothing. I, everything happened so, so fast. I didn't, I didn't plan it. Do you understand? Okay. So what is it then? Jemima is not even taking my calls anymore. Oh, that makes it perfect. Mm -hmm. I like that girl. I can't just... I can't afford to lose her like that. I, I need to do something to make it up to her. So what about Scarlett? What is going to happen to her? Hey, Kate. Hi, Scarlett. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> my brother told me what happened. I am really so sorry. Yes, I'm also sorry too for the stress I put you guys through. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's fine. Even though it's not fine because it was really so stressful, I won't lie. I know. But I'm glad you're, you're looking good. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. I owe you a shopping spree. Shopping? Yes, oh I know God. you like the sound of that. I do. So just tell me anywhere you want to shop, my ATM is at your disposal. Disposal? <laughs> I love that word. <laughs> I think I got something for you. Come, let me show you. You did? Yes. Oh my gosh, she got me something. You're going to love them. <laughs> Oh my god, she came. <sighs> oh! Guess who took me shopping? Scarlet! Scarlet, cheer out. No. She went on already. <sighs> Are you expecting someone? Yeah, Jemima. She now takes your call. Well, not necessarily, but um, I texted her, so I'm hoping she comes around. Hedy. I know, I know it's complicated, but it's what it is. No, it's not yet complicated, Hedy. Listen, at this point, I think it's best you let one go. Let one go? Yes. Just like that. So who do I let go? Huh? Scarlett that has been through a lot this period. Or Jemima that was with me when Scarlett literally ghosted me. Who? So what do you want to do? I don't know. But I know one thing for sure. And it's the fact that I still want to explore what I feel for Jemima. So what about Scarlett? I am not breaking up with Scarlett. Not after what she's been through this period. So you want to double date? Not when you say it like that. Besides, Jemima has not even agreed to date me yet. I just pray she doesn't turn up for dinner. I guess I want to hear you out. Can I get a hug? <laughs> we're not going to act like we're cool, okay? Like I said, I want to hear you out. Oh my goodness, my darling. Pretty, pretty. You look so stunning. Come give me a hug. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I think I should just let you two have your mind while I go upstairs, okay? Alright. Yes. <laughs> oh, it looks like you went shopping. Oh, yes, I did. And uh, I got this lovely dress. Oh, that is pretty. You like it? Yeah, it's a nice dress. For real? Mm -hmm. You can have it then. Really? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Besides, I hold you whole lot, so it's nothing. Hmm? So I have to leave you two love beds and go upstairs. Be good. Okay. Have fun. I guess for your sister's sake, I'm going to forgive it. You forgive me? If you promise not to do it again. Hey. I promise. I cross my heart. Can I get a hug now? Whatever. <laughs> Damn. So, what did you make? Um, I made jello fries and grilled chicken. You feel right? All right. You want to try it out? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, Jemima. I'm hold on. Glad is. <clears throat> this is a business call line. Oh, okay. I'll give you a second. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I was in the middle of a Zoom meeting before you called. Yes, you actually did. It's fine. Maybe I'll just call you back when I'm done. I will, I will. I'll call you. Love you. But for a man, you cook very well. I actually love men that cook. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that means you love me. All right. I take that as a yes. <laughs> you wish. <sighs> <laughs> I like you, though. I like you, too. But love? Love is a very big word, you know? Well, I like you enough to fall in love with you. <laughs> you. Love. What do you mean, you love? Are you trying to say I can't fall in love? <laughs> Not after what your ex did to you. <clears throat> you know... You know, you might not know, but... You might actually have a fear of being abandoned by someone you love. Look, I can't even believe that she just cut you off like that. But anyways, I'm glad that you're fine. Yeah. Are you spending the night? Why? Here? With whom? Oh, sorry, my bad. I was, I was just asking. Okay, I think that that's my cue to leave. Hey, come on. I didn't... I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just... It's okay, finish up your food. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that food was so good. Oh, you still I have the food, I think I over it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Are you sure you want to leave right now? Yes, I can't take care of myself. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed every minute of it. Me too. I wish we can do this over and over again. Me too. Yeah, um, give me a call when you get home. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Yuki-san, 
What are you doing here? You were watching us. Uh, Benny, I love you by the time. What's happening? Come on. Come on, what? Why would you have to kiss her? Because I wanted to and I felt this was the right time. Hey, well, that is you misleading her. Because now she thinks that you want her. Well, I actually do. I want her. I want to be with that girl. Because I like her. You like her? Uh-huh. <laughs> so what about us? Hey! I, I just knew you were going to say that. Move, move, move. <laughs> I just want to see some more. I mean, but don't say nothing. Don't say anything about Scarlett. Just go. Go. Trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each other. We oh, gotta learn how to trust each other. I trust you, you trust me. We gotta learn how to trust each other. What is love to survive when we trust each other? Eddie? Eddie? He left his phone here. So where could he go to? Eddie? Eddie? And his car is not parked outside. If he had somewhere to go, the least he could do was to tell me. And he didn't even take his phone. This is really strange. Very strange. I wonder where he went to. Eddie! Eddie! I enjoyed watching you have fun. I felt like a kid. Yeah, you're a kid, my baby. You know, right? Come here.
Are you sure about this? Yes. <laughs> I don't know where your brother is. He left me in the house all day and he didn't go with his phone. I can't calm down. I am furious. He left the house without telling me anything and to make it worse, he didn't go out with his phone. Kate, this is past 10. I, I, I don't even know whether to be, to be worried or furious. This is all like Eddie. How sure are you? You don't even sound worried. Hello? Hello? She dropped the call. Isn't she supposed to be worried about her brother's whereabout? I don't even know what to think. You're walking through this door and say hey to me. After you left this house without telling me anything, you didn't go with your phone, you didn't return home all night, and now you walk in here and say hey to me. You're not about to walk past me. Where were you? Eddie, I need an explanation. Where did you go to? Now you realize how it feels for someone to ghost you. What? You're trying to revenge? I thought I already explained the situation to you. I understand. All I'm saying is don't stand here and yell at me for doing the same thing you did. What did I do? Tell me, what did I do? When I came back, I told you everything. I told you what happened to me. And I expect you to do the same. I expect you to explain to me why you disappeared after the doorbell rang. Who was at the door? No one. No one. You expect me to believe that? Look, I don't know what you want to hear. I, I just don't know. But I stepped out and I got caught up in the middle of something. That makes no sense. There is no way you will leave the house without your phone. So what do you think then? I think someone was at the door. Someone you didn't want me to see. So you had to leave for the person. Oh, that's bullshit. Excuse me. Eddie! Just 
Eddie, where were you last night? Why are you budging into my room and why are you questioning me as though you're my mother? Maybe I can stand in a swan. Because right now you need someone who can talk to you like a mother should. I am not a kid. Don't talk to me like that. Why are you acting like one? Eddie, what is wrong with you? Were you with Jemima last night? Oh, I said it. <laughs> I guess as much. Now Scarlett thinks you are cheating. Well, maybe I am. How do you mean? I asked Jemima to be my girlfriend, and she said yes. Sorry, I, I think at this point I'm quite lost. What are you talking about? I love that girl. I like her a lot. In fact, I love her. Oh, fine. Then just tell Scarlett that you're done, that you don't love her anymore. And who told you that, I'm, I, that I don't love Scarlett anymore? Are you trying to tell me that you're in love with two women at the same time? I guess I am. Interesting. Look, Scarlett and I have come a long way. You see, I have become so fond of that girl. I became so fond of her to the extent that I pictured the future between us. You know? But she ghosted me for a while and Jemima came into my life. Jemima felt like a breath of fresh air. In fact, she still feels like a breath of fresh air. There's this unique, relaxing, mm. you know, spectacular <laughs> connection and chemistry that I have with Jemima and I, I just want to explore it. <laughs> you want to explore? You are laughing. Exploration. <laughs> Exploration. Hey, hey! My brother is in love with two women, he don't know which one to pick. He's in love with two women, he don't know which one to collect. He's in love with two women, he don't know which one to collect. Will you just be serious for your life? Messing. What's the problem? I didn't think I'm joking. You mean I'm joking? This doesn't look like a joke to you. Is that why you're raising your voice at me? Why would I raise my voice? First of all, you budge into my room. I'm, not, I'm even trying to uh, have a heart to heart talk with you. You're dancing and, and a car. Why would I dance? Tell me why would I dance? Am I joking with you? What is wrong with you? Tell me, Eddie, what is wrong with you? What do you mean? Tell me, what do you mean? Understanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving, so trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each other.
Are you okay? I lost my mom. Oh my god. My mom is gone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, dear. Come, here. come, sit down. Oh Jesus. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Why am I losing everyone that I love? First, it was my dad. Then you. And now my mom is gone. Hey, come on, stop talking like that. <laughs> you did not lose me, right? I'm here for you. You're not seeing anyone else. I am. Uh... You're stuttering. I am just wondering where that's coming from. Of course, I'm not seeing anyone else. <laughs> sorry, sorry, baby. Sorry, sorry. Take heart, I okay? love you so much. I love I, you. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs>
listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. You seem distracted. Hmm? Is everything okay? Do you want this? Uh, I have my You're rejecting mine. Why are you staring at me? You look so beautiful. You know, right? Thank you. <sighs> I have something for you. You do? Sure. Hold on. Let's see how it's gonna be. Just hold on. God, it's so pretty. Thank you. It's pretty like you. Why are you walking away? You must listen to this conversation. You... You're not trying to have a conversation with me. You're judging me. You're judging me. Eddie, I'm not judging you. Eddie, you have two women in your life. Two good women. <laughs> this is your reality. I'm just stating the obvious, nothing more. What do you think? Oh, what do I think? <laughs> you need to make a decision. Help me. Help you? <laughs> I'm lost. You know those two girls? You know Jemima? You know Scarlett well enough. Help me make a decision. <laughs> wait, 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 bro. I think you're joking, right? Because definitely you must be joking. <laughs> because, bro, I cannot help you make a decision, okay? These two women are lovely women. They're really very cool. So you have to make a decision yourself, not me. Hey. Hey. Hey, dude, listen to me. Listen. Wait, listen to me. There's no way you can love two women at the same time. Yes. Just check your heart. There must be one person that you have this special feeling for. There must be one person that your heart truly beats for. Hey, just sit down and think about this. And check for who has your heart. It's not so hard for you to do. It's not in my place to do. And besides, your bed is in three days' time, so... Jemima is aware about this. You have to do something about this, bro. <laughs> you really have to. Uh. Because you're special, baby. Yeah. 
Wow, wow, wow. I see. So this is the trip. Eddie, you told me you were going out of town just because you want to bring another woman to your birthday party. Right? Oh, I think I just have to go upstairs to go pick up something for the birthday. But I forgot. Okay. Oh, sorry. Eddie, who is she? And who is she? Oh, hold on a sec. You're joking, right? You gave her the same necklace you gave to me? Really, Eddie? Eddie, so you're cheating on me, right? Oh, no. He's not cheating on you. He's cheating on me. We've been dating for three years. Babe, babe. She, she, she came back. She came back? And you opened your arms and welcomed her? When were you going to tell me this? Jemima. Don't you dare. Don't you dare call my name again. Eddie, what is she talking about? I'm so disappointed in you. You know what? Happy birthday. No. She my mom. And where do you think you're going to? Hmm? You're not going anywhere till you explain to me what is going on. Excuse me. Um, Eddie! Jemima! Eddie! I can't. I know, I know, I understand how you feel. I would really appreciate if you can please sit down so we can talk about everything. Please. Thank you. You see, the day I invited you over for dinner was the day my brother was supposed to propose to you. But when you disappeared, Eddie was so devastated. It was so bad to the point that he got himself drunk. He's allergic to alcohol. Exactly. That was how bad it was. <sighs> you see, on that fateful day, he was driving back home drunk. Then he bashed into Jemima's car. And that was how they met. The next day, she was supposed to come to the house to take her money for the damaged car that my brother cost. And she met my brother lying after that. His body reacted to the excess alcohol that he took. And so he passed out. <sighs> Even though she was a stranger, She was only the one running the elder scatter, ensuring that he gets his drug so he can be fine. That week I, I was so busy because I had my exam and test and I had to read to ensure that I don't fail in school. Jemima was the only one taking good care of my brother. She didn't only just take care of him. But she also ensured that she made him heal of his heartbreak. So they fell in love. I am really so sorry. I'm sorry. Remember, 
my mom. What? She's not even listening to me. What? What do you have to say? She, my mom. She came back with a pity story. So you went back to your relationship? You welcomed her with open arms? No. Kind of. When were you going to tell me? Huh? I didn't want to tell you because I was afraid of losing you, but I wanted to tell you. Oh, so you thought, you thought that you could date both of us, right? You wanted to eat your cake and have it. Trust me, I was going to figure something out. Look, Eddie, I am in no mood to be in a competition with a girl that you've been dating for the past three years. Trust me, there's no competition here. Get out! Babe, please. Get out. You should have told me you met someone and fell in love with her in just a few weeks. You don't have to be with me because you beat me. You should have opened up rather than giving me false hope when your heart is no longer with me. I'll let you make your decision. It's either me or her. What about your mama? My brother has no idea I'm meeting up with you two ladies. I decided to call you girls out here because of the good connection that we both share. You girls are beautiful, amazing women. And I have nothing against you two. Nothing. Scarlett, do you still love my brother? Yes, I do. What about you, Jamie? Do you still love him? Yes. I'm not going to fight another woman because of a man. Besides, they've known each other for three years. I don't think that I have a fighting chance here. He lied to me that he was going on a trip just so he could be with you. I think you've won already, even without a fight. You know what, you two women are. You deserve the best, trust me. You girls deserve a man who would love and appreciate you too. A man who would have his eyes on just you both. At this point, I think Eddie has to make a decision. Well, if he decides to go for Jemima, I will take it that it's all my fault and let him be. And if he decides to go for Scarlet, I mean, it's going to hurt, but I'll let him go. I have an idea. so nervous right now. Why is she not here yet? I just think it's traffic. Traffic? Mm -hmm. How is she 30 minutes away from here? Well, it's possible. This is Lagos, remember? She could be stuck in traffic. 
Huh? Wait. What if she says no to you? <laughs> look at your face. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> you start to see your face right now. You look so funny. Oh, wait. Do you think she will say no? Hell no. I was just joking with you. Come on. Scarlett loves you so much. And besides, I feel like, you know, she's been thinking about this day all her life. She can't say no to you, bro. Hmm? She can't. I know I haven't said this to you before, but I think I just have to do it now. I am really, really so proud of you for taking such a big step. I must confess that Scarlett is the luckiest woman on earth. After me. She told me she'll be here for six o'clock and this is almost time. Should I call her? No, you can't do that. Not, not possible. You can't just ruin the surprise at now. Don't forget you told her you're on a business trip. I think I'll just call her instead, okay? Huh? Uh, let me get my phone. One second. Her phone is not reachable. Her phone is not reachable? Let me just call her. What is the time? She's not picking. Just call her again. Same thing. Oh my god, at this point I think I'm scared right now. Yes! Or what if something has happened to her? Huh? Huh? Where are you going to? To our house, of course. Hell no, look at the time. Look, it's late already. You can't leave by this time. Hey, bro, relax, okay? It is late. You can't, make, you can't leave right now. Maybe she forgot that I invited her over for dinner and she slept off. Don't worry, okay? Uh, by tomorrow morning, I'm very sure she'll be told back what our course. And then you can propose to her. Hmm? It's okay, I'll call you. Don't cry. No, I'm not crying. No, I'm not crying. It is 7 a.m. and this girl has not returned to my calls or replied any of our messages. Maybe she's not here to wake. How? So she slept from 6 p.m. and she's still sleeping now? Something is definitely wrong. Survive. We gotta learn how to 
trust each other. Trust you, you trust me. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Where does love to survive when we trust each other? I report to the police attention, missing person. Let me just call her friend Joy. Hope Joy knows her whereabouts. Hello, Joy. What's up? What do you mean? I, I've not heard from her too. What's up? But when she told you about the dinner plan with my sister. Oh my God. I was meant to propose to Scarlett yesterday, but she didn't show up. I don't know. I don't know what to think right now. I hope not. I just hope not. I don't know what to think. What do we do? You see what you're gonna do. Just, just do that, all right? Just do that. If you, if you hear from her, just let me know, okay? I really, really appreciate it. All right, thank you, Joy. Thank you. Ah, yeah. oh, God, what is this? Picking up. She's not picking. Let's call her again. Take. Call her again. What? She busied. She busied your call? She busied my call. It's obvious she's avoiding me. It's obvious she's alive and well. Nothing has happened to this girl. She just does not want to talk to me. It's glaring. 
should have known. No, don't say that. Uh, what if she was kidnapped and she cannot take her calls? Kidnapped? Yes. If someone is kidnapped, they definitely they want a ransom. Her doctors will want to call anybody that is close to her, be her boyfriend, her father, her uncle, her, her native doctor, whoever. Mm. Uh, Shit, this girl doesn't want to talk to me. But why, why could she be avoiding your calls? I don't understand that part. Why? The last time I checked, we don't have any issues. We didn't quarrel. I have an idea. Um, you know, Scarlett doesn't have my other line. So what if I call her with that line to see if she's going to pick up our calls? Yes. Right? That's a good one. Okay. Call her. Let's see if she picks. Let me try. Put it on speaker. It's ringing. Hello. Scarlett. Scarlett, why are you not taking my calls? What's going? What's going? What's... What? She hanged up? She hanged up on you. She hung up on me. So which means she's actually avoiding your calls then? But why could she be? Oh God, I can't believe this. Oh God, I... Eddie. Are you cheating on Scarlett? What do you mean? I'm like, of course not. Wait. Wait. Could it be Scarlett is cheating on you actually? Yes, she is. She... I think she is because that's the only reason why she... Oh my goodness. Eddie. I think Scarlett might be pregnant for another man and she doesn't want you to know so she cannot face it. That's why, that is why she's doing this. That is why she's avoiding your calls. Ha, ah, Scarlett, Scarlett. Oh my God. Scarlett, why would you do this to me and my brother? Scarlett, why would you do this? Oh God, I don't think I was so excited waiting for you guys to get married and then now she wants to disappoint you and break your heart and then hurt me. You know what? <sighs> Just... I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Oh my God. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Relax, okay? Everything is going to be fine. God knows best. Every disappointment is a blessing. Maybe God knows that he doesn't want you to propose to the wrong woman. That is why all of this is happening. Just, Eddie, I'm your sister and I want the best for you. Just, just. It's okay, it's okay. I just want to wash my face. Eddie, please, no. I just want to be left alone. I just, I, I just, I just want to be left alone. Right. Eddie, I'm going to let you be, but I just don't want you to hurt yourself. Let me be. Eddie, please, wait. I said, let me be, let me be. Scarlett. Scarlett, why would you do this to us? Scarlett, why? Why? Mary, please do not hurt yourself, please. Responding to my messages. Fine, let it be then. Let it be. Is that easy for you to say? I know it's hard for you to do, but what can you do? Tell me, what can you do? She clearly knows what she's doing. She's avoiding you. It's crystal clear. <sighs> if, if she wants to break up, <coughs> at least she should tell me. At least tell me why you're leaving me. She will come around when she will come. And if she doesn't come, you, my brother, will be fine. Trust me. Just eat, okay? Please. Scarlett, why are you doing this? Why are you acting like this? Bro. I know I've said this to you a million times. But I'm going to say it again just so it can sink properly. You are every woman's dream. And the right woman will always find you. Okay? I love this girl. I thought she's the right one. I thought she's my answer to prayers. Well, she's clearly not your answer to prayers. She's not the right one. She's not the woman for you at all. 
Anyways, I'm going back to school today. And I just want you to promise me that you'll be fine. <sighs> this one you're doing. <laughs> I just hope this one will not be the reason why you lost my alarm or so. I really hope. Okay, just leave me alone. Just leave me. Okay, well, please eat your food. I took a lot of time to make this for you. So make sure you don't let it waste. Eat. And I'll be expecting the money. <laughs> be good. Some trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each other. We oh, gotta learn how to trust each other. I trust you, you trust me. We gotta learn how to trust each other. What is love to survive when we trust each other? Trust each other. Hurry and action, we get a lot of it. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Love is beautiful, it can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. So trust is important for up. this love to survive. How to trust each other. Love is beautiful. It can surpass anything. But a little misunderstanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving. Trust is in It's really cold outside. What's up? I'm fine. Guess what? I stopped by at your favorite eatery and I had to get you your favorite. So, 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 let me understand something. This is meant to be some sort of bribe or what? Huh? No. Okay, what then? I'm not bribing you. Let me just say. I know that your love language is food. Is this a course or what? Other people are having reasonable love languages and you're telling me my love language is food. I don't understand. Okay, since you don't want the food, let me just leave. Oh yeah, now leave now, leave. Uh, uh, <laughs> Where are you leaving so soon, baby? Uh, I was, Wait. I was just joking now. Uh, so you want the food now? I want you and the food. <laughs> Trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each other. Oh, we gotta learn how to trust each other. I trust you, you trust me. We gotta learn how to trust each other. What is love to survive when we trust each other? Hey, baby, what's up? Okay. Babe, what's that for? When did you even take that picture? Why are you using a bad picture like that as your profile picture? Scarlett, take that picture down now. Oh, what, Abby? What I'm going to do is going to be crazy, trust me. Scarlett, you're daring me. <laughs> you're daring me, Abby. All right. One zero. You're gonna see what's up. 
Such a sweet girl, though. you posted on Instagram? What was what? You posted a picture of us saying that we're expecting a baby. And the last time I checked, I am not pregnant. <laughs> Praise God! You're pregnant! Hallelujah! Eddie, this is not funny. It's not. Ah. Yes! Sorry. Everyone in my DM is congratulating me. I even had to put off my phone because the calls won't stop coming in. Including me. I don't know why you did it, but you have to debunk it. Congratulations. Stop. Nice banking with you. <laughs> Why is your face like that? Oh, 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 you're, you're angry? No problem. Yeah, now, are you ready to take down the profile picture? Wait. So this is what it is about? It is what it is. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you're so petty. I know. I told you my comeback is going to be massive, huh? Done. Done. Yes. So can you take down the picture now? <laughs> it took you three days before you took it down. So I'm going to wait on the third day, just like Jesus resurrected on the third day. Eddie! Hmm? Can you stop this? Stop what? I might stop what? Take down the picture now. Okay. It's not funny. Hmm? Eddie, stop this! It's not funny! I'm not deleting nothing! Eddie! You can't catch me! Alcohol at your friend's party. Just, just one shot. Oh, Eddie. <sighs> but you know your body is allergic to even one drop of alcohol. <sighs> Do you still have your drugs? <sighs> I need to take you to the hospital. No, just get my drugs. All right, just give me some time now. Huh? Let me quickly rush and get it. I'll be back now. Mm. To get up, okay? Just try. Mm, come. <laughs> yeah, easy. Ah. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have to sit up so I could give you your drugs, huh? 
Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Drinking lots. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So just mm, help me. So, uh, hey, easy. Ah. Uh, Baby, just get up, baby. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, okay? You'll be fine. Sorry. How do you feel? Better? That's good. You call me really scared. I'm sorry. Eddie, promise me you will never take alcohol again. Not even a drop. I promise. What's up? Is everything okay? Oh my god. Find someone and hide. I'm coming. Just, I'll be with you shortly, alright? Don't panic. Just hide. God. Hey, no wow. It's been a while. I'll be this. Jimaima. Jimaima calling me again. Hello, Jimaima. Jimaima, please, can, can I call you back later? I have an emergency. You can't what? Jesus. Okay, baby, I'll be with you shortly. Now, like I'm coming now, all right? Hang on, baby. I'm so sorry, Scarlett, but look, you have to call the police, okay? I can't come right now. You came? Yeah, she said you were dying. So did Scarlett. She told you she was getting robbed, right? We wanted to see who you would go to first, so we would know who has your heart. You guys set me up. It was actually your sister's idea. Um, Scarlett told you she was getting robbed and you told her to call the police. If you were to go to her, you would have told me to call the ambulance. I am so sorry, Jemima. I should have told you the truth. Yeah, you should have. But it's fine, I kind of understand the position that you were in. She needed you and you had to be there for her. I love you, Eddie. And I'm glad you came. And I also feel like everything that has happened has happened just so that we could meet. I love you so much, baby. So much. Understanding can be cloud what the heart feels. Looks are deceiving, so trust is important for this love to survive. We gotta learn how to trust each 